Get ready to stand and deliver as NXT has its own WrestleMania to start out the weekend as we open things up with Shinsuke Nakamura. And this has a chance to be Shinsuke's last appearance in NXT as he has accepted a match in where if he loses tonight, his NXT career is over and he has to move on to bigger and maybe better things when he faces Dragon Lee. The man who accepted an open challenge from Shinsuke a while back thinking it would just be a competitive match. But ever since Shinsuke has been a thorn in Dragon's side, he wanted this stipulation he got it time to stand and deliver these two have had on and off issues for far too long and it's gonna come to a crescendo at stand and deliver already with Canadian Shore up on the middle rope he goes and now we get his rolling through wait a minute got him oh wait Shinsuke's up on his shoulders power bomb from Dragon Lee and oh my god sunset flipping over on Shinsuke and now here we go now Shinsuke gonna come up from the floor Shinsuke trying to save his NXT career he showed up at NXT Revolution in 2k22 has had multiple NXT title shots made defense and stand and deliver before and now this could be the final match he's ever had here and now Shinsuke gonna send him into the corner here we go no way dragon gets his knees up but wait a minute oh my god right to the back of the mask right to the tail of it and now I oh, was sliding German suplex classic Shinsuke Nakamura and now these knees right to the side of the face right to the side of the mask Shinsuke is not showing any sort of like lenience on Dragon Lee and I was gonna go to the outside go up for a kick no dragon catches him here we go got him up on his shoulders no Shinsuke gonna try to get out of it here we go he does oh a big kick there and now he's gonna send him back in the ring Shinsuke got him up landslide landslide Samoan driver type maneuver cover stacked up no Dragon Lee pops up out of it and now whoa dropping a knee on him the no way Dragon fighting back here we go now Dragon's got him up on his shoulders again and what the hell are you going for Dragon what the hell what are you doing with him Oh my god, just stacked him up on his goddamn neck! No, Shinsuke's barely able to get his shoulder up, and now Dragon, though, right back on the action. Oh my. Going in the corner, and now Dragon's running from corner to corner on Shinsuke, just busted him wide open. Here we go, and now Dragon off the bottom rope with the sense on. Here we go, bringing back out the Irish rip. No, Shinsuke trying to fight out, bloodied and all. Here we go, his, his blood matches his gear tonight, but Dragon send him in. Oh my god, what did Dragon go for now? He's got him up. And they're both standing up there. Hurricane Rana. The Frankensteiner off the top. And now slapping him as he's caught up on the ropes here. Dragon Lee. A drop kick right to the chest. And now, oh my god, a big chop there. Takes him down all the way out to the outside. And Dragon Lee is going to join him out there. Sending his own body at him. It was like an uppercut almost. Back in the ring. Up on the top rope. Up for a double foot stop. No! Kinshasa. Kinshasa. Nakamura. Cover to save his career. No! Dragon Lee kicks out. Good lord. Dragon Lee's already beat him before, so I guess he can see it coming, but Dragon Lee with a snap suplex. Here we go. Went for a double foot stop, but no. Shinsuke went for a Kinshasa. Close line in the corner from Dragon. Here we go. Big shot there with the double foot stop or whatever. And now here we go. Bring it back. Ripcord. Spanish fly from Dragon. Up on the top rope. Into a double foot stop. And springboarded. Another double foot stop. Good lord. Slingshot drop kick. These two feet action are going insane. Dragon suplex into a power bomb. Cover Lee to beat NXT's. Oh my god, NXT's strong style merchant. And now up on the top. No, 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 no. Oh, go to his feet. Roll up here. Stacked up Dragon Lee. No, he's able to kick out. Flip leverage into his own pin. Dragon, he's got him. No, Shinsuke kicks out. Oh, went for a big shot, but no. Nakamura not letting it happen. Went for a knee and then caught him in a, a suplex on the ropes. Oh my god. Went for a key shot as he kicked up, but no. Dragon, got him. Pretzel up here. Oh my god. Into a super. Look at the power. Into a power bomb. Cover. Dragon. This is how he beat him before. No. Nakamura kicked out. Nakamura kicked out. He's still in this. Big forearm. Big strikes. Big combinations. Oh my god. Right to the side of that. He missed the first one, but he didn't. Oh, went for another knee. But no. Dragon. Here we go. What crucifix takedown. And he's taking him all across the goddamn land. Dragon Lee. What are you doing? Cover. He's got Nakamura stacked up. No. Nakamura is able to kick out. Went for a super kick. No. Shinsuke. No. It's a Gary from Dragon Lee able to get back. He's up to his feet again. No, he got caught right into it again. Another one. A suplex into a power bomb. And Dragon Lee has ended the NXT career of Shinsuke Nakamura. It's bittersweet. But I know from now on, Shinsuke can do bigger and better things. This is huge for Dragon Lee in the same sense. But man, thanks for everything, Shinsuke. And Dragon Lee, that's huge for him.
Knock knock, Azrael is knocking at your damn door as it is time for a North American title match. And this is without a doubt the biggest match in Azrael's career. The Chase U student has had an insane arc in NXT, going from an alternate in the breakout tournament, losing in the finals, winning the Dusty Cup, and now has a stand and deliver match against Alexander Bishop, the North American champion with a specific t-shirt there. He has all the Chase U students he has quote unquote checked off on his hit list and this man does not take Azrael as a threat in the slightest. He's been terrorizing the Chase 2 classroom for months on end, and a fellow runner-up in the breakout tournament will Bishop be dethroned as the king of the breakouts put the NA title on the line. This is a match that has been building for longer than you can imagine. Both people runner-ups in their tournaments. Azrael trying already. Azrael donning a new a, a, a new type of gear tonight and as, as you see Bishop got that shirt that has all the people checked off on it he's also got a you suck armband with the chase you logo on it these two are playing heavy mind games against each other they're kind of matching which is crazy Bishop's not taking him serious but oh my god last time he didn't take someone serious he almost lost fireman's carry here we go into a moonsault he was trying to get up right to the side of the oh my god to the side of the head on Bishop here we go sent on no Bishop got the knees up and now here we go taking down the arm oh my god knee right to the side of the head and now a half and half suplex from alexander discus lariats he's back in it he's, he's taking him serious a lot earlier than he took andre chase and now bottom rope moonsault bishop up on the top rope he's piecing him up right now a spiral tab dropping an elbow on him and now a kip up bishop again but now asmo's up to speed already what the hell and now Azrael drops him here we go now got him up on his shoulders what is Azrael going for he drops him in front of him and just digging his knee into the back of bishop giving him back shots and oh my god look at the power of Azrael just muscling up alexander bishop and now here we go snapmare takedown what is he going up here oh, off the bottom rope look at that and now here we go oh and no look leg drop from that length is crazy now going for something bishop flips out of it here we go side rush leg sweep and a floating over oh my god just laying in the punches and bunches on Azrael. oh my god pile driver in the corner big chop bishop running at him oh my god to the side of the head and now pme no Ezreal moved got him here we go pile driver of his own no wait bishop trying to fight out again discus lariat no german suplex from Azrael. got him in wait double underhooked MPD, MPD cover, but no, he's under the ropes. Azrael's trying to go back at it, but that corkscrew, no, Bishop, kick to the, uh, kick, punch to the side of the head. Final verdict, his foot was under the rope, and he's able to take advantage to retain. No, Azrael kicked out. Ezra kicked out, and he popped up, he popped up, here we go, backbreaker from Azrael, here we go with the ropes, Senton connects this time, up on the top, here we go, elbow, no, Bishop, caught him into the death sentence, the Bishop's choice this week is a goddamn Kimura lock, and I don't think Azrael has anywhere to go, he, that rope is right there, but I don't think Bishop's gonna let him crawl, I don't think it's possible, wait a minute, Azrael, Azrael broke the hold, he broke the hold, into his own, into his own, it's a last chancery, that's a goddamn submission of Azrael and a bishop he can tap with that chase you armband he can tap right now lose the North American Championship this could be one of the biggest upsets that we could possibly see in, in NXT the, the, the killer of the breakouts might get killed right now but no it looks like Bishop's able to break the grip of Azrael and he's still fighting and now again a second time as he gets out of the last chancery final verdict a second time ain't no damn way Bishop had one one count one count Bishop one Roll up Azrael to win the North American Championship. No, Bishop kicks out. And oh my god, Bishop might need a new move there. That didn't work on Azrael. Big knees to the side of the head. Not side of the head, but corkscrew. No, he barely moved. And a big forearm. No, line him up. Penalty kick. And again, a death sentence. Again, this Kimura lock. Again, Bishop's choice is to tap out Azrael. As Bishop, can the can win. Bishop can retain the North American Championship against his third Chase U student or Chase U member. But no, Azrael's able to get him again. Somehow, some way. Pedigree, uh, MPD, as you would call it. Nowhere near the ropes. He's done. Oh my god. Bishop kicks out. Bishop kicks out. The other one, he was under the ropes. He got saved. This time, he actually kicked out. Bishop fighting all the finding all the strength he can. Bishop, now we're gonna roll up, roll up here on Azrael to make him a fast one. No, Azrael kicks out anyway. Went for a shot there. Azrael rolling through with a big knee to the side of the head. Here we go. No, wait, went for something there. Oh my god. Got caught off the kick into a third one. Final verdict. Three final verdicts. Two death sentences. Cover from Bishop. He finally puts Azrael 
away. Oh my god. I thought for a second. I thought for a second Azrael had it. But it looks like Bishop is able to keep the North American Championship. It was a great match. A great showing from Azrael. But it looks like Bishop is still the killer. The king of the breakouts. And Azrael might get checked off the list double time. Is that possible? As much as I can't stand him. He's a damn talented person there. Whoa! Is that? Who oh, is that? Is that Santana? Is that Santana? What? He, he got fired months ago. On Prettier, he got fired months ago. What, what is he doing here standing the liver and attacking Bishop, the guy he beat in the breakout tournament first time in 2K22? Santana's here. Santana. I, 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 thought, he was, I thought he was gone. He's strutting away. Oh, Bishop trying to get up and Santana is exiting and he's back. Bishop has seen a ghost. He would, Bishop thought he got rid of him. Bishop thought he, he ended his career. It looks like Satana's back and he's got one thing on his mind. The North American Championship and probably the North American Championship, the guy who's holding it. Because that guy, they hate each other. Oh God, this is not good for Bishop. This seems like a perfect time to ask, do you want to be in Chase U? Well, I know just the way. There will be a Google form in the description of this video where you can apply to be in Chase U in 2K24. Now, listen to me very carefully. If you are chosen for Chase U, there is a very high chance you aren't in the breakouts tournament. It's just the way it goes. So pick one. Also, be ready to be the butt of a lot of jokes. Chase U has a lot of fun around here. If that's something you're interested in, fill out the Google form. Make me laugh. You don't have to take it serious. Now here comes the NXT Tag Team Champions, pretty deadly as they have been tasked with a gauntlet match, a tag team turmoil match with their NXT Tag Team titles on the line and from the looks of it, they have to run the entire gauntlet against seven different teams, one of them said to include Gavin Ashton, so let's see who they start with. Oh, you guys didn't think we were actually going to start the gauntlet. No, 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 boy. We are just out here to see all these teams fight against each other as we watch and wait for our turn. Have fun, boys. Well, it looks like Pretty Deadly isn't starting, but the Viking Raiders are. Eric and Ivar got to the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic and barely lost, only by accident, really. But they have another chance to get the titles and Pretty Deadly when they start against Idris Inofe and Malik Blade. These two could be a sleeper team. Don't count them out. These two have been waiting for something like this. They weren't even in the Dusty Classic. They could be heavily slept on. Let's start this Tag Team Turmoil title match. Now, when we announced the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, Idris and Malik weren't in it, but they actually did get an NXT Tag Team title opportunity against Pretty Deadly, who wanted to prove that they were actually good champions, and they did take them to their limits, so these two could do it right now against the Viking Raiders, who came down from SmackDown for the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, have been dominating NXT, except for that one time they lost on accident, but Idris and Ofe trying his best to know Eric, oh my Jesus, they're taking it down, into the corner we go, tagging into Ivar, oh no, what is this, and now Eric gonna send Ivar, our Irish whipping him into Idris and oh my god picking him up take these cheeks in the corner from Ivar big splash on Idris and now in the corner we go no Idris trying his best to fight out but no Eric and from behind no Idris is trying into a reverse DDT swinging at that time and now in the corner goes Ivar tagging to Malik the freak Malik Blade fighting off here into the oh my god went for a missile drop kick off the second rope and no here we go Idris no Idris Malik Idris getting in the ring Malik cover cruise the banks no Ivar was able to kick out oh drop kick to the back and went for a drop kick to the front, but no, Ivar with a DDT. And now he's got Idris. He's got Idris. What the hell? And I'm taking him down. What the hell? In the corner. Oh no, he took out Idris. And now he's got Malik in the corner. Tag in to the Viking experience. Into the cover, Idris. Nowhere to be found. And the Viking Raiders move on in the gauntlet. And next up is Andre Chase and Duke Hudson. But I thought. Gavin was on one of the teams. I don't know, but Chase U's here. Chase U trying to get revenge on the Viking Raiders. Well, not the, the Viking Raiders actually would want revenge on Chase U, actually, if we're talking logically here. Cut wrench suplex from Eric. Andre Chase, former North American champion, just had a steel cage match, and now he's back in this NXT Tag Team title picture, as he, I thought he was before. Oh my god, Viking experience already. Dukes get taken down. Chase is down. Cover, Ivar. No, Chase able to kick out of two. 
It's, it's a little early. It's a little early to be hitting that. And now here we go. Wait a minute. He's got him stacked up here. Duke took out Eric. No, Ivar kicked out. And now Chase going to send off the ropes. Oh, my God. Oh, a big arm drag. But that's strength from Chase to get, get Ivar up like that. And now tagging to Duke, the MVP. Look at this. Oh, a drop kick on Ivar. Now, look at this. Right to the beard of Ivar. He just busted him open. He's going to get busted over the rest of this match if he can, if he stays around in this gauntlet. That means he's going to be busted open the whole time. Oh my god, look at Duke. Look at Duke. The power of picking up Ivar like that. But no, Ivar trying his best to fight out. Close line takes him down with him. And now here we go. Shoulder tackle. Into the corner we go. Tagging to Eric. Again, another one. Wait, another one incoming again. The Viking experience on Duke. But Duke's... It's too early. It's a little too early for Duke. And he got to get tagged to Andre, though. Oh, Yurinagi there. Side effects. Here we go. He's got Eric. Fretliner. Fretliner from Chase. Cover on Eric to move on in the gauntlet. No, Ivar breaks it up. And now Ivar taking out Duke while Eric flips the leverage on, flips the leverage on Andre. Big knees. Here we go. Got him. Oh, dropping him on his foot. Cover. Duke's nowhere to be found. Cut in. No, no, no. Oh, Chase kicks out. Duke could have broken up, but he didn't. No, no, no. Chase burst. Oh my god, front. Oh no, he went for a possum pin, but Ivor was able to break it up. And now these two are left alone. It feels like no, Duke's still here. Here we go, Chase and Eric flipping it. Here we go. Went for a double X handle, but no, Chase. Roll up again. Cover. Chase to move on. Ivor's taking off the apron. And Chase, you moves on. They barely against the Viking Raiders. But next up, it's the Don and his underboss, the D'Angelo family. Trying already. Whoa! So D'Angelo already trying to get two cuts in off guard. You can change whoever you want to be starting the match after you win the gauntlet. Here we go. Went for uh, went for Falcon Arrow, but I went for a clothesline. But no, Duke with that German suplex. And now Duke got the Don up on his shoulders into a neck breaker. Went for a shot there with a the back elbow, but no, Tony. Exploder suplex type maneuver. No, Duke fighting out of it as much as he can. Big kick. No way. Tony catches him. Here we go. Oh, got the arm here. Oh my god. Into a clothesline, but no, Duke trying his best. Into the corner we go. Tag into the former. North American champion Duke got him up here we go Jesus Christ what a tag team maneuver but Tony D'Angelo fighting out from the floor and here we go got him up oh my god back body drop just the power of that Don Northern Lights wait a minute he flips over into it here we go forget about it forget about it cover combo into no she's able to kick out I think Duke might have broken up as well with the double on him and a tag into Channing stacks Lorenzo here we go. Andre Chase caught in a bit bad, bad predicament is what I was trying to say. Having to have suplex, went for something there. Elbow, nope. Oh my god, big boot from Chase with the Jordans on. But no. Here we go, trying to slow it down. Maybe you should slow it down because, you know, you, you've had already this is your second opponent. First of the Viking Raiders, the stacked, trying his best to fight out of it. Here we go, dropping his knee on Chase. But no, Chase trying his best. Went for a drop kick to the knee, but no stacks. Stacks roll up, bridging cover. But no, Duke's able to break it up. He might have needed that, but Chase going to go to the outside. Stacks takes down Duke. Stacks up on the top row. Oh, my God, a big shot on Chase. Now back in. Duke's back up in the apron, though. He's trying to get a tag, but it's not going to work. Oh, Stacks was taunted, but Duke. Oh, my God, German suplex. Tagging to Duke Hudson. He needed that. Close line. Went for something there, but no. Stax trying to fight out. Big shot there from Duke. Big boot from Duke. And now the Don is being taken out on the apron. Tony D'Angelo is done. And now Stax has been isolated. A wins a change type maneuver. Chase just for good measure to stand in there. And Chase U gets the win to move on to the next portion of this. And it's Noam Dar and Oro Mensa of Metaphor. Oh, God. this is They debuted at the expense of Chase U almost, but no. Here we go. Boom! Went for a big shot to Noam. The, 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 the Supernova. Is that what you, uh, the Supernova 11. And now taking over down with the Russian leg sweep. And I know him, Dar. These combinations on Andre Chase. Almost won the BTBC Battle Royal if it wasn't for Chase. And now here we go. Look at this tag team. Tag into main man Mensa. Here we go. Big kicks. Right to right to Chase. Oh, right to the side of the head, Oro. And now off the move. I went for a moonsault, but no. Tyler Driver, shout out. Chase able to move out of the harm's way right there. And now he's going to tag in. Duke cuts in once again. They're going to go for these tag team maneuvers. Duke off the top. Drop kick into a suplex. And now Duke went for an elbow, but no. Oro taking him down. Here we go. Drop kick to the side of the head. No Duke. Here we go. Send him off the ropes into the referee. That was on accident, maybe. I don't know. Duke likes this like it this way. Kip up. Super kick from Oro. Tag into no one, but a hot tag into Chase. They're both in. Andre Chase. Off the ropes he goes. Arm drag. Take down. Big shot right to the side. 
side of the head. And now Chase is laying the ground and pound on Noem Dar. Yuranagi from Chase. Here we go. Goes to the frontliner, but no, Noem. Oh, he ducks under into that, and now he's calling for the Nova Roller. Here we go. Wait, Duke. Duke's going to stop all of that. Duke's going to stop all of that and chase for the Lutez press. He's able to take advantage of Duke stopping that Nova Roller from happening right in front of him. That's smart as hell. But no, no, I'm with the big knee. And that tag in Oro. He's trying to get a tag into Duke, but no, it wasn't working. But no, Chase fighting out. No, caught Oro. Kick right to the almost penis. And now up on the top, over the middle rope, but Duke paying dividends again. No one gets taken down. And as says Oro, but trying to put off Duke. And now caught him in. Fratline. Fratliner on Mensa. Cover. Chase to move on again in the gauntlet. They do. That's three opponents yes, they've beaten. But wait. Wait. Oh, pretty deadly. Your next. They're already here. Super kick. Spilt milk. Just like that. They take advantage of Chase U. They've been here the whole time. And pretty deadly. Take out Chase U. It was so good. Wait. Ch Chase U's out here again. It's Gavin Ashton. He said he would be here. But his tag partner is newly added to chase you riley osborne here we go roll up here from gavin riley took down kid but no elton's able to get his shoulder up just barely and look at gavin ashton who the hell is he he's right here and now ddt to the elton prince i did not expect chase you to already come in chase you has two entries into this match gavin said he would see him there and he did with riley osborne who just debuted at roadblock that is insane as we just saw asriel lose super kick from riley oh my god moon salt this man is this is his first match, but he's already going crazy. And our first match could be an NXT Tag Team Champion. Oh my god, an uppercut from Elton Prince. Leg drop, no, Riley moves. Big shot there, no, Elton moves into that drop kick. And now look at these two descending each other back and forth. But no, Riley, here we go, taking down Kit. Riley got him in. Double underhook. Backbreaker. Dropping it right there, but for a super kick, no, Prince. Oh my Jesus Christ. Into the corner we go. Tagging to Kit. I'm gonna get some tag team maneuvers here from the NXT Tag Team Champions. Off his back. Oh! A, a double knee face buster to Riley. Taking down Gavin. Into the corner. Gavin's still right there, though. Elbow there from Kid. Into the corner again. Right in front of Gavin. No, Riley moves. Here we go. Reverse DDT from Riley. Into the corner we go. Tagging to Gavin Ashton. We're gonna get this man back in. This is a big shot for him. It's a, it's a, it's a big match for him. And now off the springboard. Here we go. Oh my, just dropping with an elbow. Look at Gavin. Go! Hurricane Rana on Kids. Kids gotta go to the outside. And now Gavin is playing a little bit of puzzle. Who the fuck? <laughs> That's who he is right there. He's got the crowd behind him right now, though. Oh, my God, Gavin Ashton. The greatest cruiserweight to grace the top rope. Good Lord, he's going insane. The blazing comment on, on, uh, is on smoke right now. Bone saw. Bone saw from Gavin Ashton. Cover. But, oh, my, Elton Prince immediately breaks up. He wasn't letting any of that happen. Went for a moonsaw, but no kits. Neck breaker from Wilson. Went for the elbow, but no Gavin. Tags in Riley. So that's smart right there. And now, oh my god, wait, Kit's gonna take advantage. Oh my god, Ellie is stuck up here. Look at these shots right to the back of the head of Osborne. See, Hell's not gonna like that one. And Kit Wilson is laying into Riley Osborne. Went for something there, but no. Caught. Spanish fly. Elton Prince. Not Elton Prince. Kit Wilson caught. Reverse suplex. Riley up on the top rope. Shooting star press. It's beautiful. Tag in. Gavin up on the top rope. Asteroid pelt. Double Moonsault, cover! Elton Prince got taken down! Kit Wilson gets covered! Gavin Ashton did it with Riley Osborne! Oh no! But their last opponents are representing Bullet Club next. It's out the mud. OTM, Bronco, Nima, and Lucian Price. These are the this is the last team. These are the last two teams in this gauntlet match. The winners will be crowned NXT Tag Team Champions. We're gonna have new champions. I can't believe Pretty Deadly got taken out by Gavin and Riley out of all people. And now tag in, Lucian Price, they with the Bullet Club shirts all decked out against Chase University. This is not good for Gavin. These are two big boys against these two cruiserweights. They're, the styles mesh well as a team, but not right now as Lucian Price is just picking him up, carrying him around like he's nothing. Power bomb on Gavin. Oh no, Gavin's got to go to the outside. And, but he's just going to join him. He's just going to join him and send him back in. This is not good for the Blazing Comets. Chase U is crying at home. They could lose their second match tonight. Gavin trying to call to Riley. It's so serious. Riley took his shirt off. Oh God. But no, big shot. Gavin trying it with a drop kick. No, 
gets leveled right there. Gavin, Gavin gets the tag. Riley's in. Riley's in. Flying, sending his whole body at him. Here we go. Riley Osborne trying his best. Taking down. And oh my god. Oh, Canadian Destroyer on Bronco. Ducking under. He's trying to use his speed and quickness to take down Bullet Club right now. Riley trying his best. But no wait. Bronco up on the floor. And a fall away slam. Oh no. Send him into the corner. Tag into Lucian Price again. Double team maneuvers here from OTM. Oh my god. A backbreaker. Oh my god. Backbreaker. Just throwing Riley around like he's nothing. So, oh, no, God, Riley gets caught up here again. Samoan drop. And I was just getting stopped right now by Lucian Price. OTM have taken them for, for granted. They, they're just beating him up. This is, this is, this is bad. Broncos in. Just busted Riley open. Oh, they're just getting pieced up right now. Dropped by Bronco. Gavin's down on the outside. And we have new... NXT Tag Team Champions representing Bullet Club next. OTM. If you would have told me these guys would have won the gauntlet, I would have called you crazy. But Bullet Club gets some gold. And it's the NXT Tag Team titles. Well, what a reign from Pretty Deadly, kind of. These are your new champs. We just saw Bullet Club next pick up some gold, but now we have another Bullet Club member as the El Razor himself, Cody Hagen, is in the building. Looking a lot different than usual as Hagen is donning a crown. I don't know how Bishop feels about that. He's got some paint on his face. Cody Hagen is all business as he faces a debuting Oba Femi. Getting your debut on Stand Deliver is nuts, but he has this match because he couldn't send his message to the NXT locker room because he was stuck in Nigeria or whatever. So he used the JCP Anonymous Twitter account to tell Cody Hagen specifically that there was a message waiting for him. He sees himself as the biggest threat to NXT, biggest big man, if you will, and he is backed by destiny. Let's get this hoss fest underway. It's a whole lot of meat in this ring, and Oba already taking him down. Oba is deceptively athletic, deceptively agile. That's a big dude. You think he'd barely be able to move, but nah. Uh, Cody Hagen's a little bit skinnier, which is something I never thought I'd say, because that man is a beefy man. But Cody Hagen, with this new face paint donned, is giving him pieces right now on Opa. And uh, Cody got him up on his shoulders. Oh, what the hell? Look at the power of Hagen. And, uh, into the corner we go. Oh, no way. Oba getting his speed up. Ah! Bounce! He just bounced Cody Hagen like it was nothing. It popped up and no bounce again. You shouldn't be able to do that, but Cody Hagen's getting up to his feet so easily. Loot that's pressed from Hagen. These two have met their match, to be honest. Like these, these two are destined for it. And uh, here we go, Hagen bringing him into the turnbuckles. Overhead belly to belly is insane. And now Hagen sends him out. Oh, he sends him out to the outside. What are you doing? This is, this, is, this is a perfectly normal standard one-on-one -on -one match. The disqualifications do count. Countouts do count. But Hagen, look at this. Power bomb on the apron. Oh my God, Cody Hagen is not taking Oba Femi for a for a, for a joke here because yeah, he's taking this anonymous very seriously. But oh my God, Oba, Jesus, got him goozled. Now throw him into the goddamn air barricade. Throw him into the announce table. Headbutt from Oba, and Oba's gonna take apart the announce table. Oh Lord, Oba. Oh, and for a big shot. But no, Hagen. Here we go. Send him into it. Hagen. He's gonna get Oba up. Hagen's got Oba up on the announce table. Wait a second. Cody Hagen has Oba right where he wants him. Look at this. Last ride through the announce table. Hagen is going crazy, but Oba pops up. Oba pops up as soon as he gets to the ring. What the hell? Off the ropes. Pop up power bomb. Pop up power bomb from Oba Femi. What he did at Roadblock. Oh, but Hagen kicks out. Oba couldn't win his debut just like that. Hagen's up to his feet. The first shot there, but Hagen in the corner we go. Big clothesline. Sends off over from the corner. And now again, right to the back. Another clothesline. He pops up again. These two just keep popping up like it's nothing. They keep no selling. Here we go. Went for a clothesline. But Hagen able to catch him there. And now Hagen stepping over the top rope. Where are you going? He's up on the top rope. Where are you going? Oh, Oba turns it into a power slam. Elbow. Oba's up on the top. That's a big fella. But no. Hagen's able to take advantage there. Look at these combinations here from Cody. Look, he's using speed and agility and quickness right now. Look at this. Cody Hagen had Oba Femi up there for what the hell for a long time. Oh, no. Femi in with a kick out. Cody Hagen cannot believe what he's seeing right now, but he's going up to the top rope again. Are you dumb? Leg drop. He might be. Oba just tossed him. And now a bop, bop, power bomb again. Second time. Hagen's down. Oba Femi wins his debut. That was a big, meaty match with a big, meaty ending. Oba Femi, that's his debut on NXT. He's going to be a force here to come. What a, what a showing from Hagen, but Oba is just here to stay. He's too good. 
Now it's the Breakouts briefcase matches. This is the last chance for these five guys to get one spot on the NXT roster in 2K24 as Amir, Ryan Castle, Jermaine Moore, CJ Bryan, and TM all have to climb a ladder to get their contract. Let's get it cracked. This is just going to be terrible to commentate. I don't know how I'm supposed to get this Breakouts briefcase match, but there's five of them. TM's already going for cutters. Jermaine's got suplexes. Ryan Castle's in the ring. Tilt to whirl it on TM. And now he's outside of the ring with Jermaine Moore. Into a fisherman buster there. But wait, Amir's grabbing it. Uh, Amir's grabbing it, but it's not working. Oh my god, CJ Bryan just pushed down the ladder and brought Amir with it. German suplex. CJ Bryan. Here we go. Right to the gold chain with a rip cord lariat. And now he got TM on the ladder. Good Good lord, and now he's got a mirror crunched up again. CJ Bryan is going insane. He got a mirror right there. Oh my god, what a shot. A mirror actually won at Stand the Liver last year against Andre Chase and how he got into the breakouts division, but now he has a chance to get on the roster because if he does it tonight, he will never get on the roster. He has no other chance. Whoever loses this match will never have another chance ever again, for the most part, I'm pretty sure. But Amir's grabbing some notches there. Jermaine Moore's got wrist plus assault locked in on TM. What is going on here? I think he's not grabbing the, the, he's not grabbing the briefcase anymore because he doesn't see the notches anymore. But here we go. Oh, him and Brian are up there. CJ Bryan and Amir are both up there. Ryan Castle is trying to push it off, and he does. Good lord, but CJ trying to go at Oh, a bad agree on Ryan Castle on the ladder. TM's up there. Jermaine's bridging a ladder with the announce table, but CJ Bryan gonna stop TM before he can do anything. Amir just slid under, by the way. That was crazy. Oh my god, why does Ryan Castle have a kendo stick? Why does Ryan Castle have a kendo stick? Oh my god, Ryan and Dynam 69. Oh my god, Jermaine it drops Amir. And now here we go. Amir and Ryan Castle going at on the outside. These are the two heavy favorites from the crowd. Big shot there. And now, oh, CJ Bryan taking out TM. Jermaine and Amir going at it. Here we go. Look at these combinations from Jermaine. Oh my god. Knee right to the side ahead of Amir. And now he's got CJ Bryan into a, in a Z360. And now Jermaine. Look at these combinations on, on Ryan Castle. Jermaine Moore's going insane. Now he's got Amir Death Rider. Death Rider from Amir. And now Jermaine crunching up TM with a, with a with something there, and now Ryan, oh, Ryan Castle's up on the goddamn bridge. What is happening here? And now Ryan's gonna hit his own Death Rider on Jermaine. And CJ Bryan, oh my god, CJ going at him here. Good lord. Now CJ Bryan's got the briefcase. He can win it right here. All he needs is two more, but Castle's gonna try to stop him. Amir's gonna try to stop him. He does. They both tag team him right now. But oh my god, Castle taking down Amir. And look at this. Castle's trying to go up there. Jermaine is hitting power bombs on the apron on CJ Bryan. Castle and Amir are both up there. Jermaine tried to stop it, but I don't know why TM stopped it. But look at Amir. Look at Amir. He's got Castle. Oh my god. Air raid crash off the top. And now Jermaine and CJ are up there. Castle's gonna try to stop him. Oh my god. TM just broke it up. I think. And now, oh my god, Amir just sends Ryan Castle and Jermaine Moore into each other. TM's trying to work on CJ Bryan. I'm um, looking at Amir. Look at what Amir's doing to Jermaine Moore right now. Big sliding lariat. And now Amir's got to set up in the corner. What the hell? Oh my god. Look at Jermaine Moore. What the hell was that? And now look at this. Oh, Jermaine. What the? <laughs> look at Castle. Oh my god, handspring. What the hell is happening? Jermaine Moore with a dragon twist. And now Amir, he's up on the damn thing. He's up on the bridge ladder. Ryan Castle with a senton. What the hell? Wait, JML driver from Jermaine Moore. Ryan Castle trying to grab the briefcase. All he needs is one more. But no, Jermaine pushes him off, but Jermaine gets pushed off. What the hell, Spine Buster from CJ? Amir's up there. Where's CJ going? Where's CJ Bryan going? What is happening? Amir's got it! Amir's got it! Amir has just pulled down the Breakouts briefcase contract, and that means he will be on the roster in 2K24. After last year, he beat Andre Chase to get into the series at all. Amir has done it a whole year later and will be on your roster in 2K24. That is huge for the boy. That honestly a crowd favorite, right? He deserves it. Now it's time for the co-main event, and here comes Lyra Valkyria. This Irish-born superstar called her shot at the NXT Women's title for tonight, and ever since she debuted, she has been involved in some big storylines, put in big matches, thrown into the deep water, and definitely swam, but her biggest problem has been Blair Davenport. These two are destined to do this forever, whether it be on NXT or even in the Royal Rumble. When Lyra wanted the title, Blair came through again and attacked Lyra, so they both get this title shot as Blair represents Bullet Club next against Tiffany Stratton, the NXT Women's Champion. Look at the clock. It's Tiffy time as Alexander Bishop retained his title earlier tonight. Tiffy has a big obstacle to get through. Two women that despise each other but also want her title. I do not envy the Barbie. Put that NXT Women's title to the sky.
the penultimate match of Stand and Deliver is gonna be a doozy. These triple threats in my series are always a little bit chaotic. They're already all fighting each other one by one. Lyra's taking down Tiffany, but Blair with a clothesline. Tiffany's gonna send her into the corner. What is this? Snapmare takedown right in front of Lyra Valkyria. She just got a lot. Look at Tiffany. Did she just drop her knees on her? That's insane. And a butterfly suplex there from uh, Blair and uh, from Lyra and uh, Tiffany. Blair's watching on as Tiffany takes her down, but Blair with a Saido suplex, but Lyra's back there taking her down by the arm, but Tiffany's gonna grab her, take her down with a flatliner, but no, Blair's trying it, but Lyra with a back suplex, Lyra's gonna send Tiffany into the corner, big shot, and uh, look at this, springboard and big kick, and uh, Lyra got Tiffany in for an exploder suplex, and now uh, look at this meeting of the minds right there, big slap from Lyra, but no, Blair's gonna send her into the corner, and tell oh my Jesus Christ, a big, a big reverse DDT, and now uh, Blair taking down Tiffany, but no, Lyra immediately taking advantage, Duck on her Pele kick, and now uh, Tiffany's in, no, spin kick, spin kick from Lyra, cover on Tiffany, Blair's down, she can pull it off right now, but Tiffany's able to kick out, and now uh, wait, Lyra taking her over right there, Jesus, right to his arm, oh, look at this, Tiffany, trying to take your combinations right now on Blair, uh, oh, no, Blair's on the outside, I keep messing him up, oh my Jesus Christ, you take her down on the outside on the apron, but Lyra with a back suplex on Tiffany, but Blair's back, Saido again, Tiffany takes down Blair, but Lyra with a reverse DDT to Tiffany, Blair with the knees, Lyra gets sent into the barricade almost, but Tiffany taking her down, here we go, these two, Blair, ball, bow, 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 we're bombed from Tiffany, but Lyra sends Tiffany onto the apron, what is happening here, too much is going on, and now Tiffany got a side and leg sweep on Lyra, but Blair got her up, no, wait, Tiffany, here we go, getting out of it with a reverse DDT, Tiffany gonna send Blair into the ring, PME, no, Blair move, boom, spin kick, spin kick from Lyra, but Blair, she got out of it, into that Falcon Arrow, cover, Tiffany's down, she could win the title right now, but Tiffany, with a big shot there, and now Tiffany, Wait, what? 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 Got her in! Final verdict! Final verdict from Tiffany! Shout out Bishop! Cover on Blair! No! Blair barely gets her shoulder up. Tiffany throwing a fit. Tiffany throwing a fit. But now she got a death sentence! She got a death sentence locked in on Lyra Valkyria! She can make her tap out and retain her NXT Women's title right now! Blair's nowhere to be found! Blair's gonna take it out by the final verdict! But no! Blair, Bla Lyra able to break it up! Wait a minute! Got her up! Wait a second! Nightwish! Nightwish from Lyra! Cover on Tiffany! No, Blair breaks it up. She could have won the title right there. She took out the ref in the process. Close on over the top rope. Blair and Lyra going at it. PME to the outside! Tiffany, now back in the ring, but no! Caught her up for the Nightwish, but no! Tiffany, but that's right to the side of the head. But no, Blair's back in. Blair's back in somehow. Here we go, again! Falcon Arrow, but a PME immediately to Lyra. Tiffy, uh, uh, Tiffy took out Blair. Cover off the PME. Tiffany Stratton barely escapes with the NXT Women's title. I thought Lyra had it for a second. She was going for the Nightwish. Tiffany got in with the PME after the Falcon Arrow from Blair. There was too much happening there, but Tiffany Stratton barely escapes with the NXT Women's title, which means her and Bishop keep their titles intact. Hold on a minute. The, are we feeling the glow and stand and deliver? That's Naomi! That's that's Naomi! She 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 returned and the Royal Rumble hasn't been seen since. I thought she signed to SmackDown, but it looks like she's got something else on her mind, and that's the NXT women's title. Tiffany Stratton may have her first opponent looking right at her if Naomi can earn it maybe, but what a moment at stand and deliver. Now it is main event time for Stand and Deliver, and here comes the leader of Bullet Club, AJ Styles. The previous NXT champion is looking to get his title back as he still hasn't gotten his rematch from Deadline. He won the main event of Stand and Deliver last year under the mask NJ Air, but he had a match on NXT against this man, Dijak, the Iron Survivor, won the challenge with eight points and dominated it in three minutes. He went crazy in that match, wanted the title shot two weeks ago, but he accidentally sent the champ to the hospital, so he fought AJ and then had a triple threat match at Roadblock where he was unsuccessful partly because of this man Grayson Waller came from out of nowhere after saying he was still in Australia he actually eliminated the champion in the Royal Rumble and faced him one on one at Vengeance Day months back and now they all have to face off in a fatal four way against Ilya Dragunov 
He's been on this journey to get this championship ever since last year's Stand and Deliver where he got pinned by AJ Styles. This man has main evented main roster pay-per-views. He has done it all and this match is a whole bunch of revenge in one whole conundrum. Fatal 4-Way to close NXT in 2K23. Put the title in the fucking air. If you thought a triple threat was going to be insane, I bring you a Fatal 4-Way. Last year's NXT Stand and Deliver ended with a Fatal 4-Way. It was between Braun Steiner, Shinsuke Nakamura, Ilya Dragunov, and NJ Air with AJ Styles under the mask. So now it's another Fatal 4-Way, this time adding Dijak and Waller, which means AJ and Ilya are both two times Stand and Deliver main adventures, which is pretty cool. But Dijak is trying to kill Ilya Dragunov right now. He's been trying to do it for a long time. AJ and Waller, should be mentioned, used to be teaming together. They challenged for the NXT Tag Team titles at the beginning of 2K23. They were a little bit of an alliance before Grayson decided he won the NXT title, which is why they had the triple threat with uh, Nakamura at Great American Bash, which is how Waller got involved with Ilya again. So these, th this has been building for longer than you mentioned. Waller's not just a random addition. Waller has been here involved, oh my god, since the very beginning. The Dijak has got him over the shoulders. Feast your eyes on Waller. Cover. Ilya's getting back in the ring to save his title as AJ was stuck on the barricade. He went for a discus, but no Ilya. Now here we go, back in. Waller taking him down with the neckbreaker. Oh, low blow to AJ. And he did a low blow in the rumble too this man is loving these dicks but never mind. and now Ilya gonna send him off the rope Dijak's in the corner big knee no way to Grayson moves in the DDT and now he's got Dijak stuck in the corner AJ's down on the outside what is going on here he's got him on the turnbuckle oh my god big kick <laughs> Jesus and now through Dijak for that clothesline cover Dijak doesn't see it happening cover oh, Ilya no AJ's able to kick out now Dijak's gonna try to cover AJ what the hell and now Ilya Running powerbomb on Waller, powerbomb from Dijak on AJ, clothesline from Ilya on Dijak, and now Dijak's got him though, oh my, powerbomb on Ilya while AJ and Waller out on the outside, oh my god, the chair is there, into a neck breaker, but Dijak with a half and half suplex on Ilya, now here we go, they're on the outside, I think they switch positions, as Ilya, and oh my god, I rolled through powerbomb, and oh, did you see, did you see AJ bounce off the barricade in his head, oh my god, and now, Canadian Destroyer from Waller on Dijak, he's getting stuck up there on the apron, oh my god, a suplex from Ilya, and now Waller's going to send Ilya into the ring, but Dijak's going to send Waller into the ring. AJ is taking down Dijak on the outside as Waller and Ilya go at it. So look at this. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Waller. Oh, my God. Dijak's in the ring. Wait a minute. Phenomenal foot. No. Big boot. Don't went for the torpedo, but no. And now Waller rolled through. Stunner. No. Got him up on his shoulders for a feast. Your eyes. Dijak's going insane. Phenomenal. No. Torpedo caught. But Dijak. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Waller tried it. Dijak sends him over. Super kick. What is Dijak doing? Dijak's gonna take a birthday now, but we already saw Oba and Cody do it. But oh my god, Dijak call my choke slip through the table on Waller. Did he just did he just put it back together? And now he's got AJ through the table. He just sent two people to the table, he put it back together, but now it's down to him and Ilya in this ring. Big boot missed, and now it's throwing his whole body at her. Waller, he's back! No! Torpedo turns it into a flatliner! Waller, no gets sent out again. He keeps trying this. And now Dijak got him up in his shoulders. Here we go. Another feast. Your eyes on Dragon. Dijak to win the title. No! These guys just keep recovering like it's nothing. Dragunov kicks out. And now AJ's back in. Off the announce table spot. Wait, Ilya's trying to stop it, but no. Styles clash. No, but Ilya takes him down. And now it's down to AJ and Ilya. Here we go. Pele kick from Styles. Here we go. Cut. Phenomenal forearm to the NXT champion. Cover. Nobody else is near Styles to become two time. No, Dragunov kicks out. It could have been repeated last year. He pinned him last year. Could have pinned him again. Dragunov up to his feet. Torpedo Moscow on AJ. Dijak's back in. Another torpedo. AJ. H-bomb on Dijak, H-bomb on AJ. Up on the top rope. Wait, 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 wait. Ilya, top rope, oh my god, top rope, H-bomb. Whoa, Waller, Waller, Waller just sent him out. Waller, cover on AJ, wait a minute. What? What? Gra Grayson, Grayson Waller just stole the NXT title. Grayson Waller is the new NXT champion. The Aussie icon has done it. That makes him the first ever Triple Crown NXT Champion. He was the first ever North American Champion. Last year's Stand and Deliver, him and Logan Paul won the NXT Tag Titles. And now, at this year's Stand and Deliver, in the main event, he is NXT Champion. The first ever Triple Crown, because he stole it. He walked away with the NXT title. He snuck away, but that'll do it for Stand and Deliver. Thank you all for coming out for 2K23's NXT. I'll see you for Mania to end 2K23, and then we're straight into 2K24. I cannot wait. But Jesus, I need a break right now. This this is going to be so fire. Thank you all again. I, I appreciate everything.